we've had one pandemic end and we've got this new pandemic of people with persistent symptoms. We started seeing this cluster of people who were expressing different symptoms. The symptoms had changed from, you know, headache and fever and chills and shortness of breath and cough. Now they were talking about dizziness and fatigue and I can't seem to exercise the way I used to and there's something about this that I can't shake and my heart feels like it's beating out of its chest and my arms are tingling, my feet are going blue, you know, all of these very odd symptoms. Often by the time they made it to our clinic, they're so overwrought that it's a miracle that they're still standing, let alone managing this highly debilitating condition. Now we're at a point, fortunately, where we feel as though we have a rehab program that is producing results and is somewhat successful in helping people resolve their symptoms. But I will also say that some of our patients who have been discharged for the longest are experiencing relapses. We know that when we increase people's CO2 levels, an edge comes off of their symptoms in most cases. Psychologically, that's a big, big deal. Just being able to say, I have control over this, as opposed to, I almost fainted and I have no idea why. <laughs> Finding the right breathwork protocol for the right set of symptoms can sometimes be a bit of trial and error, but these things have measurable physiological effects and so they can be really powerful.